What's going on, everybody? Freddie Cholo here from the Cholo Jiu-Jitsu Academy in Miami Lakes, Florida, under Professor Tom DeBloss. Side mount headlock escape from the Kesagatami. First thing you want to do is not allow him to have your bottom arm. Okay, this could be a mission to get out of if he's controlling both your head and your arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn sideways and tuck in that bottom arm. At the same time, we have to make sure that we frame the top of his neck at a 90 degree angle. You're going to see my hands go in here now. I'm just showing you here how to maintain your elbow tucked in. So you're going to frame the neck. Okay. Grab your wrist, not your hands. Okay. 90 degree angle. Walk your feet away. You're going to use the outside top leg to hook his head. And you're going to try to finish him with a scissor choke. Make sure that you go under his chin and bottom leg is on his neck. Maintain a Kimura grip. You should get a tap here. But if that doesn't work, we have some follow through candy here. First one, I use my forehead to sit up and I put him sideways here. From here, I can finish him with the north south kimura. But it gets better than that, guys. And this is a whole series you can practice. Okay. On this next one, make sure his arm tucked to his chest, elbow off the floor, bottom knee slides in. I'm going to finish now with the juji gatami. If you don't know the mechanics to all these moves, they're all on the BJJ Fanatic videos from John Danaher and all the wonderful instructors that are on there. On this next move here, I thread my foot through and I'm going to finish him now with the Yoko Sinkaku. All right, use my forehead to extend that bottom leg and I get a good lock on that Sinkaku. On this next move here, same thing. Knee slides in and then Top leg is going to hook underneath the far arm. As I rotate him over, I'm going to finish him with the Ushiro Senkaku now. Okay. Perfect. So now we're going to repeat this all over again from the beginning. Again, all these videos are on the BJJ Fanatics. That's why I'm posting them on this side here. Walk my feet away. Top leg goes over. I briefly let go of my hands just to demonstrate the move because he wasn't holding on very hard. So just follow through. Use my forehead to sit up. Make sure you always maintain control of that kimura. Knee slides in. Foot goes over. I'm going to finish now with the juji gatami. Many of the ways you can finish this juji. I choose to use this particular move here. On this next one here, knee slides in. Hook. And I'm going to go now to the Ushiro Senkaku. And on this next one, it's going to go, we're going to finish with the Yoko Senkaku again with a slight variation at the end. But all these variations are taken from the wonderful instructional videos that are on this site. Hooks in, use my forehead, Yoko Senkaku there. But if that's not working, I can just use my forehead to rotate my legs over and finish him from the side kimura. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you, all wonderful instructors on the BJJ Fanatics. I'm out.